guys, this is Mr. Minnick here, teaching my ComSci 201 students how to uh, copy and paste a program into compileonline.com in case you don't have a copy of NetBeans available. So this is something that you're likely to have to do on class, at class number one. At class number one, according to the schedule, we, we uh, do this assignment one, hello world. Here is assignment one. Here's the code. I'm going to cheat and highlight that code there. Do not do it this way. Uh, as an instructor, I'm allowed to do it this way, but you're not. I'm going to copy and paste it. I prefer that you type things from scratch at the early uh, uh, stage of this course. But by highlighting this code that's given to you in assignment one, then sliding over to the, to the uh, uh, website that somebody somewhere in the country has provided to us and as soon as I find that window. So as you see, I'm here on the home page and I have no link to compileonline.com. Maybe I'll add it in, the, in future versions. So for now, I'm just typing compileonline.com. It's one of the many online free compilers out there. It compiles many different languages and executes uh, programs. I'm going to click on the Java link, obviously. Here we are on the left-hand side of the window. I can just delete the code that they gave me. They gave me a hello world. But I'm going to paste in the code that came from my assignment web page. I'm going to, of course, change uh, the name to uh, uh, my name. This is what you would do. And I'm going to line up the, uh, I don't like the way they pasted in those spaces. So I'm going to perfectly align these things along the left edge. Type in the name of the file. Name of the file, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. I'll just call it a1.java, assignment1.java for now. It's not really saved as a file. It's in this web browser window, which is perfectly fine for simple programs like this. Notice how I like the curly braces. I like the curly braces this way. You'll lose points in this course if you have this opening curly brace up there, even though some instructors and some people out in the corporate world, world would appreciate. In fact, Oracle's the company that kind of owns the rights of Java. Oracle's coding standards actually uh, urge you to put your opening curly brace there, but I don't like that for other reasons I'm going to get into. Now we run the program by clicking here, compile and execute, and then if it works, over here in the right-hand window, we have the output. So by closing up my window here, I know you can't really see what I'm doing, uh, totally in this recorded window, but by shrinking things up a little bit, you could everything uh, nice and tidy like this. Okay, sorry for the sloppiness, but now I think I have uh, compileonline.com opened up so that when I click compile and execute, the output shows up over here. If I change this world to uh, Penn State and recompile and execute, I see the output shows up over here. This part of it's the important part. If I introduce a compile error by perhaps adding two ends there that print ln and try to execute it. We'll see uh, an error message of some kind over here. So this is uh, a quick and easy way to test certain uh, things in Java when you don't want the uh, expense or, or, uh, or you don't have available to you a true IDE, integrated development environment, such as NetBeans, which I will be using in this course. Okay, you could uh, um, print this code out by just copying and pasting it into a, a text editor that you might have on your own computer. And I might ask you to print that uh, hard copy out. I might ask you also just to execute the program and do a screen snapshot of this much and print that screen snapshot out and hand it in for future assignments. So keep in mind that um, those are ways that 